Gets the horn high low. And that's the horn low high. And that's brakes wheel. Just turn direction. Bring it back. That's thrash. Door slam. It's Spyrax valve. I still don't know what that is, but it definitely works. Let's have a game for off. 13 is great release. So let's move it off again. Alright guys, um, as you can see I'm having a play with the, uh, the new Hornby Class 66. This is uh, Lest We Forget um, 66413 in the new Freightliner with me. And uh, I've got the new decoder in it, the new Class 66 Hornby TTS. And in my opinion it's absolutely fabulous. So uh, I'm just having a play with it um, with some of the functions. Now I think this TTS for the price is absolutely fabulous. The uh, loco comes with the bag of extra bits and pieces. Uh, the really interesting one is the nameplate, the little metal nameplates, which are brilliant. One for each side, of course. And um, it says on there to use blue tack to put them on. I'm not sure about that. I think we'll have to have a think about what we put these on with, but uh, I'll definitely put them on once I've decided what to use, but they're fantastic. And the one thing I have realised, at last I suppose guys, is that uh, to do the one thing I've never actually done very much of in the past, is to read this leaflet that comes with the decoder, and to realise that you can do so much more with it. So, at last I've started reading these. Partly due, and thanks go to Alan at Dragon Junction, who uh, did some brilliant videos on this, uh, where he showed what you, you can actually do with the CVs, etc. So, thanks again for that, Alan. And I'm now starting to be able to do that uh, on this model. So, you can see on here uh, the ones I have done, which is CV3 and CV4 which is acceleration and deceleration. The default is set to 15 and I've now changed uh, both those on this to 30. And already that does make a big difference. Another one is the uh, volume level, which I think I've probably already always known you could do it, but never quite took the trouble to find out how you do it. And there it is. Those are the CV values. CV161 down to, I think it's... Uh, 182 so you can actually change the level of volume on any of the individual functions if you want to they're set to 4 and the range is 0 to 8 so if you want it louder go for 5, 6, 7 if you wanted it quieter go for below 4 
Another CV I've changed is this uh, CV150. Uh, this is basically pulling power. It's set to naught, change it to one, makes all the difference. Again, saw that on uh, Alan's video on it at uh, Dragon Junction. Makes all the difference. So there we are, new class 66 from Hornby. I think it's fabulous. There are a number of liveries which I'm uh, sure you've seen. And uh, yeah, it would have been nice to have lights, but I can live without lights. But I do like a driver, so I've popped a driver in. Um, the body comes off really easily, so that's not a, a difficult job. And it's the same applies to the uh, TTS decoder. Um, I actually did it myself. So... <laughs> Really pleased with that. Overall, fantastic. As far as I'm concerned, 10 out of 10. Brilliant loco. Great sound. And uh, fabulous on the layout.